click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we have seen a very typical problem number 15 where we need to calculate the cost for each mix then we calculate the profit based on the two different selling price at different levels one beyond 99 kg one before 99 kg now again there is one more problem based on vehicle mix in a military camp let's see the problem then we'll proceed further A commander of a small tank has been ordered to win and occupy a valley located in a river delta area. He has heavy tanks and 10 light tanks. He has 15 heavy tanks and 10 light tanks. Each heavy tank requires 4 men to operate whereas light tank requires only 2 men. So because the tank is heavy, it will need 4 people to operate and because the tank is light tank is much light, only 2 men are required. The total number of men or the soldiers or the army people available are 29. The firepower of the heavy tank is 3 times that of the light tank. Firepower of the heavy tank, heavy tank ka jo power hai, wo guna jada hai as compared to the light tank. If the commander feels that he should use more light tanks than heavy ones since the light ones are more effective against gorillas so gorillas are the people who basically attack from behind and in that case you need a very flexible tank which can be easily moved and that's why the commander might feel that it is always more effective to use a light tank than a heavy one Formulate this problem as a linear programming model to determine the number of tanks in each type to be sent into combat keeping in mind that the commander wishes to maximize the total firepower. So the commander here wished to maximize the total firepower that is the effective fire that will be given out by the tanks that will help to destroy the army or the enemy and we need to decide how much of the heavy tanks and how much of the light tanks uh, we have 15 heavy tanks we have 10 light tanks let's proceed further now first we'll just formulate or ta tabulate the whole data let's make the table first so we have heavy tanks and light tanks and we need to decide how much of heavy tanks and how much of li light tanks so here i'll put the heavy tanks I will put the light tanks the men that are required to operate this here are the men we require 4 men to operate the heavy tank we require 2 men to operate the light tanks uh, supply how much quantity of heavy tanks we have we have 15 heavy tanks and we have 10 light tanks and then the firepower the firepower of the heavy tank is 3 times that of light tank so for firepower of the heavy tank is 3 times as compared to the light tank if there is one power then 3 guna 3 times will be the power of the heavy tank and remember we need to maximize the um, firepower so this is the basic crux of the problem our assumption will be how much number of or how much quantity of heavy tanks I should use and how much quantity of light tanks I should use and make an assumption here x1 heavy tanks and x2 light tanks there is one more line in the problem that the commander feels that he should use more light tanks than heavy ones. So, heavy tanks should be, light tanks should be more than heavy tanks. That is one of the conditions put down by the commander. That will directly put down in the formulation rather than putting in a table. 
first we'll note down the assumption on the next page so this is our basic assumption let x1 heavy tanks and x2 light tanks are used in the combat what next we need to maximize the fire power so my objective function will be maximize z equals to how much is my fire power it is 3x1 plus 1x2 and to maximize this fire power we require people to operate the tanks and we have total number of man available is 29 so we have 29 man available so my first concern will be the manpower concern that is 4x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 29 subject to what are my concerns my first question will be 4x1 plus 2x2 less than or equals to 29 my second concern will be the number of tanks in case of heavy tanks we have 15 tanks in case of light tanks we have 10 tanks so x1 cannot be more than 15 x2 cannot be more than 10 I will note down x1 less than or equal to 15 and x2 less than or equal to 10 so these are my number of tanks constraint this was my number of man constraint the next thing is writing down the non negativity constraints remember you are required to write the non negativity constraints without them you will lose the mass in the exam so my first non negative constraint will be x1 more than equals to 0 and x2 more than equals to 0 these are my basic assumptions so this was a problem uh, not a difficult one but a quite unique one in a sense that there was not too much of info in the problem and it was a completely new and unique problem for the students where we have got certain tanks to combat the guerrilla welfare of the enemies and there was one more condition put down by the commander that the commander feels that he should use more light tanks than heavy ones so how many light tanks I have? I have X2 light tanks. My X2 should be more than X1. So I will put on one more condition here. X2 more than equal to X1. So these are my uh, constraints. First, number of people constraint. Second, the number of tanks constraint. And then there was a constraint that light tanks should be more than the heavy tanks given by the commander. So I said X2 should be more than X1. Or equal to x1 so with this the problem is over thanks thanks for watching this video do subscribe to our channel ikida